Welcome back, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today, we're going to discuss payslips, a favorite topic of mine, because payslips detail what is on our paychecks. Businesses need to accurately and efficiently manage employee compensation, and that includes creating accurate payslips. Payslips are created from a number of variables, including worked hours, deductions, taxes, and a whole lot more. Calculating them is important for accurate payments, and thankfully, Odoo does the math for us. But enough chit chat, follow me as we create a payslip. So here I am on my main payroll dashboard. First, let's select payslips up at the top and then all payslips. Perfect. So here's a list of all the payslips grouped by batch and in chronological order. Now this list only goes as far back as September of last year when this location opened. Payslips not assigned to a batch actually appear in none as the category. Now, why does that happen? Well, this could happen when there are single payslips created for one-time situations, like a bonus from a company competition or a commission for a special project. So each of these batches shows its name and as well as the number of payslips that it contained. If we look to the far right, the basic wage, gross wage, and net wage, well, those are all the totals for all payslips within that batch. So let's take a closer look at the various details that make up a payslip. Let's expand the March one. And let's actually do reference. Ascending so we can select Mitchell's. Okay, so we're gonna view the specific details of his payslip. So the top half over here shows me the payslip reference number. In this case, slip 2102, along with contract and the batch the payslip is from, as well as the structure this is calculated with and the payment report as well if we would like to. So below this, what do we have? Well, it's the work days and inputs tab. I could see the various hours that were computed on this payslip, including, and this is pretty useful, we have the option to see overtime hours over here, paid time off as well, and his attendance records. This is your permanent record. So each type shows the number of days and the number of hours. Let me expand that actually, because I just realized I'm just saying that. But you could see that, the number of days and the number of hours. I'm gonna pull that back now so we can see everything. And then we have the amount earned for each of them. So if I wanted to, I could see all the individual work entries that were calculated for these hours by clicking on work entries if I would like to. But we're not going to do that right now because that spark button is going to take us somewhere else. Or maybe we want to. Okay, let's go there. All right, would you look at that? Here, all his work entries are listed in the default monthly calendar view, color-coded by type. And for example, these overtime hours happen to be well, they happen to be listed in a nice little blue right there. But let's go back to his payslip via the breadcrumbs, which today are confused bread. So now let's click into the salary computation tab over here. Wow, there's a lot of numbers. All right, um, there's a lot that we can go over. So I can see all the various computations that occurred to create this payslip. It starts with basic salary, then gross pay, and taxable income. Beneath those are all the other various deductions, taxes, and other things that get pulled according to the localization that was installed. In this case, U.S. localization. Each line item has a category, like perhaps taxes or employer deductions over there. Any lines with an amount and total of zero will appear in blue, which makes it kind of easy to tell. All of the other lines are going to be black. So the payslip document the employee receives is attached to this record and displays all of these relevant things as well, just so that they could see that. But I've been talking a lot about viewing them. How do we make one? Well, let's go make one for our newest intern, Junior Jones. Okay, so we have to make it for our newest intern, Junior Jones, or JJ as I like to call him. So first, we're gonna select new in the top left corner over here. All right, the very first thing we need to do is type in their name, Junior Jones. All right, perfect, right there. Now, I do want to mention that you can create a new payslip from either the employee payslips or the payslips to pay dashboards. Anyways, you'll notice once that I typed in and selected their name, the contract field automatically populates with their contract. And the structure field over here is automatically populated according to the contract settings. In this case, intern pay. So I have the option to add this payslip to a batch if I would like to right here. But since this is the only one that I need at the moment, I'm gonna leave this blank right now. We're not gonna do that. So next, I need to adjust the time this paycheck covers and these two period fields that we have over here. 
His contract says that he's paid weekly, so I'm gonna select the first one. And I'm gonna select, let's pick March. Well, I guess we could start this one as March 23rd. Perfect. All right. Once I select that, the second date field is automatically set to, you'll notice March 29th, because according to his salary structure, Odo knows his paychecks must be issued on a weekly basis instead of the traditional bi-weekly basis for all other employees. Isn't Odo so smart? Now that the time period was updated, if we look down for our work days, look at that. It's already input. We can see that Odo automatically populated it with the hours he worked. I know he only worked three days that week, as we could tell right there, and then we have our number of hours. And that's because he happened to have school exams and couldn't work Thursday or Friday, but we understand. I know he works only four hours a day, so that's why the total over here happens to be 12. All payslips have a default work entry smart button that we have up at the top, which displays this employee's work entries in a default calendar view. I also have an attendance is smart button because Odoo knows his payslip is calculated based on his attendance records, which we can actually click if we wanted to. And there I could see three days logged in the attendances app. Okay, back to the payslip over here. All right, all I need to do is select compute sheet and Odoo will calculate his earnings based on these hours and the salary structure. If we click on salary computation, look at that. We could see everything along with his weekly lunch stipend over here as well that we give all of our interns. Okay, now I want to show you something else. So let's click, in our case, let's select pay slips. And then this time around, we're going to select to pay. Okay, perfect. Look at that. Actually, Junior's pay slip is here because Odu knows it's still in the waiting stage that we happen to have right there and hasn't been completely processed. Once it's paid, It'll disappear from this list, but that's for another video. That's it for this tutorial. We learned how to view our pay slips and create new ones. Tune in to the rest of our payroll tutorials where we dive into work entries, configurations, batches, and reporting. Till next time, don't forget to keep logging your timesheets. Today's snack is peach tea. I'm a little under the weather.